What's up guys, it's Fusion Effect here back with another video and today we are playing Volcaria Revolution, I think that's how you say it. Uh with the success excuse me, with with the games that came out this week, uh with Crash Bandicoot and everybody's on Crash Bandicoot. This game also came out this week and uh I decided let's, let's try this game out. I don't know too much about this game, but uh, this is going to be the start of a new series that I'm doing on this channel called The First 25 Minutes Of, where I'm going to be playing different games and I'll be playing at least the first twi 25 minutes of the game. So if if I really like the game and depends it on the success of the video, or if somebody commented or something saying, hey, you should play this game more, I'll probably be doing I'll probably do a uh, play through of the game or whatever you want to call it but uh, other than that uh, I don't know too much about this game I don't know too much about the series or anything like that but I figured it's pretty cool to try it out so uh, let's try it out on normal difficulty let's get right into it Ragnite a mysterious ore that emits an azure glow. It contains a magical energy known as mana. Its discovery brought prosperity to the masses, thanks to a select few who could wield its power through alchemy. In due time, the mana engine, an alchemic device that uses ragnite as fuel, was invented in Europa. The processing of mana itself became an industry, allowing the masses to access alchemy and sparking a revolution. This Azure Revolution transformed Europa. As the demand for Ragnite grew, so too did the conflict between countries. Thus began the Age of Imperialism, in which countries would expand their borders through aggressive military action. The revolution transformed mankind's history into one of endless war over the azure mineral. Pretty interesting so far. The Kingdom of Jutland, September 15th, 1954, BC. On this day 100 years ago, the European Liberation War that shook the country came to an end. Elsinore, the capital of Jutland, is lively in celebration for the centennial anniversary of the country's freedom. Here I lie, the circle of five whose vengeful actions brought forth an inferno of war. With their execution, the blood of the brave legions is redeemed and just peace born. They rest eternally in the land of their birth by the grace I can read the rest of that. In a grove far away from the bustling city. Two people from the Institute of Alchemy stand before a grave. I'd like to know the truth, Professor. The truth? What of? I've been researching the Liberation War for a long time. And after going through the records, I've begun to have some doubts. Like, did the traitors really commit treason? The Elsinore trials have ruled it as such. 
The history books paint a similar picture, too. I've seen the court records written by Lord Donovan Lindegard. The five traitors conspired to thrust Jutland into war for self-interest. They incited the citizenry to rise up, leading to the death of thousands. But is it even possible to start a war through personal greed alone? That conflict is now referred to as the Liberation War. The name speaks for itself. Doesn't the country as we know it exist exactly because they rose to action? Professor, you come from a line of instructors that spans five generations, all of whom taught at the Institute. And the time of your great-great-grandmother's tenure is of particular interest. I've heard that Princess Ophelia and the leader of the traitors, Amlet Gronker, were classmates and her pupils. Have you heard anything from your family about that period? How did the traitors feel? What did they think? Or why did they lead this country down the path of war? If there's some hidden truth, we should share it with the world. I've looked through a lot of historical documents and research papers regarding the traitors. I've reviewed historical facts and researched them time and again. And I've concluded that there's an important fact that remains hidden about the traitors. And that would be? I haven't gotten that far yet. Still, I don't believe that the traitors started a war for selfish reasons. Jutland won the war and underwent a massive growth. The fact that they laid the foundation for it should be ample reason why we shouldn't think of them as criminals. If I may be so bold, I even think the honor of those five should be restored. That is quite a bold notion. <laughs> There's no need to restore their honor. Then do you accept the contents of that trial, Professor? They didn't want to restore their honor. They wanted to watch over this area. That was their only request. Huh? It was for that reason they accepted the brand of traitor and the penalty of death that accompanied it. Their only wish was for all five of them to rest here in this land. Still, the people couldn't forgive them. But it's clear that their request has been granted. Why is that? It was done out of love. A complex one at that. You have heard something then, haven't you? Please, you have to tell me, Professor. Very well. <laughs> what I'm about to discuss, as you've surmised, this is a truth that's been passed down by my family, starting with my great-great-grandmother. Listen to it in its entirety, and then decide for yourself if this is a tale that should be shared with the world. Interesting. This looks really young to have a voice, though. I wonder uh, what her real age is. October 4th, 1853, E.C. So is this what the game uh, revolves around? Her telling the story? The region of Molda, where we stand now, became the first battleground in the war between Jutland and Ruse. Okay. Jutland's anti-Valkyria squad challenged the Ruzi Empire. They were known as the Vanergind, and their commanding officer, Amlet Gronker, was one of the traitors. Interesting. Let's see where we go from here. Go 
11 minutes into yeah, the... Helena. That racket you've been making is getting on my nerves. Huh? I'm just, uh, trembling with excitement. <laughs> Looks like we've got a tough one over here. I expect great things from you, Private Anderson. Y you can count on me. I, I must be excited, too. That's why I can't stop trembling. You're just scared. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You ought to be following my example, little boy Bloom. I am the very paragon of vitality, vivacity, and virility. Ugh, I'm surrounded by children. War's about to break out, and you act as if you don't have a care in the world. Excuse exactly. me, Miss Bridget. Surely you're not including me with the rest of this ragtag rabble. <laughs> you're the brattiest one here, Isaac. You're quiet as always, Tilda. You're pretty calm yourself, Bridget, even though the enemy's practically within reach. That I am. Strangely so. Once the battle starts, though, who knows what'll happen. I've been waiting for the day to take revenge on the Empire. I'll give no quarter. Well, we have been pushed around a lot by the Rucks. Everyone has some grudge against them, big or small. The old lady down the street from us died the other day. They couldn't find any medicine for her in time. She was so nice. <laughs> God, this is unacceptable. <laughs> As if we'll let an economic blockade kill us. If we're gonna die, we'll go out with a bang. Just so. Hello. Was to save my people from such a regrettable fate, so far as I am able, that I have taken up the sword alongside you. We must break free from the clutches of imperialism and put an end to this unjustly imposed embargo. Amlet Groncare. Yes. I must say, I truly am glad to have joined this unit, for it has attuned me more closely to the will of my people. Lieutenant Vilfor. Yes, sir. Have the princess stand down. Beg pardon? I still have matters to discuss with you. I don't. Uh, must you always speak so obstinately? Even to your... Come, your highness. Godot! Princess, when your commanding officer says stand down, you stand down. You're not students anymore. Helena! Aw, oh, come on! Fifi's just trying her bestest, you know? You always take the princess's side, Sarah. Why don't you become her handmaiden? How rude! What's with the attitude? Doesn't seem like they've bolstered their numbers nearly as much as the report indicated. Even if they had, we have our orders. Of course. Watch over the princess. Understood. Sorry for the delay, Lieutenant Gronkair. What is that? <sighs> Sir, His Majesty decreed at 0752 to all citizens of Jutland the annulment of our alliance with the Ruzi Empire. He has declared we're entering a state of war against them. Anti Valkyria Squad, prepare to commence operation. Our objective is to seize the outpost and take back our land from the Empire. Everyone, please, lend me your ears. This is not just a battle, but the dawn of a war for our people's independence. May the blood of our own go unshed. And may we bring victory to Jutland, our country and home. Jutland right. then was in a state of poverty. <laughs> More cutscenes, great who is in a long-standing alliance with our country, approached the other major powers of the world. Together, they launched a year-long economic embargo, which would later be known as the BRFH Blockade. BRFH. Brenland, Ruse, Franck, Hobstreet. Those four powerful empires had ceased all trade and commerce with our country. With the blockade in place, the livelihood of the Jewish populace was strained by a lack of resources. 
Jutland went to war under those circumstances. Alright, now do we get some gameplay? Looking for some action here. It's been almost 20 minutes in the video and we have not played anything yet. But cutscenes. I don't know if that's the thing with anime games, but seems pretty cool though. Uh, I don't mind it too much. I just wasn't expecting it. Let's go. That was it. Let's go. I wonder who I play though. I, want, I hope I'm one of the girls. I like anime girls for some reason. They're pretty dope. But uh, I wonder who I'll play with. Alright, here we go. Mission start. We want a surprise attack on the base. All right. Okay. The rest of you watch our backs. Go hit the enemy hard. Wow, they're still confused. Let's go. All right, approaching the enemy unit causes them to attack. Make use of various actions to defeat the enemy. Like what? Press X to attack enemies with melee attacks. Press triangle to access battle whatever uh charge up the uh action rage to max to use battle attacks or or to access the battle paletti uh the action bridge uh refills refills over time press square to guard and circle to invade. These moves avoid attacks without draining action bridge. Okay. I can't read for shit, guys. Just let you guys know. Anyway. I can't pronounce anything, but uh, let's see. I press that and that to me. Let's do this. I swear I'm not okay. Real quick. So we got that. And that's... So just, I'm just press an X one time. I get to do all those attacks. Interesting. So let's go down here and attack these guys. Piece of cake, right? Swear I'm right. not drunk. Knock them out with one hit. A take cover battlefields have numerous locations for hiding. Cool. Uh, press R1 button near the sandbag to crouch behind it. Being concealed lowers damage and recovers HP. Makes sense. Uh, press R1 button while moving towards the sandbag to vault over it. Uh, use this technique to avoid attacks. Press the R1 button near some walls to hide behind. Being hidden recovers HP in settings. In setting an ambush with battle paletti skills can surprise enemies. I need to I need to figure out how to pronounce that word because I am lost. Call me dumb if you want to. Anyways, that there. Okay, surprise. Okay, targets. All right, all right, whatever. Who's next? Yeah, I spot him out there. Ooh, nice, nice. This game seems easy enough. Watch 
Oh, we made it here. Is this the mini boss? Finally, they bring out the big guns. The enemy forces are slow to react. I wonder if they're still half asleep. Private Helena Anderson, ready for action. Take it down. Uh, let's take it down then. This game is really easy to play, actually. I, I wonder if it'll get difficult. Okay, these tanks are the Emperor's uh, greatest weapons. Their offense and defense advantages over in, in, in infantry. Infantry takes them dangerous. Got it. Tanks, however, are tanks however have destructible parts destroying these parts can knock the tank down there's certain parts all right we know that weakening the tank by first destroying the parts is a wise alternative to aiming for the body that makes sense our target apart by pressuring the r2 button did that by mistake uh switch locked on targets with the right stick okay simple enough uh lights light tanks uh, can be knocked down by targeting its legs and, and then destroying those parts. All right. Enemy reinforcements sight. So we gotta deal with soldiers. So they finally taken the bait. Runner, send word to the motherland. Everything's proceeding according to his Imperial Majesty's designs. There are several opinions about how the war started. One theory is that a desperate Jutland finally decided to mobilize, similar to a cornered animal. Another, that Jutland preemptively attacked due to intel that the Ruzi Empire was launching an armed invasion. Seems fair enough, I guess. Alright, so what's going on here? Hmm, should I end here or should I keep playing this? Yeah, 24. Please basically at 25 minutes now. Am I not a soldier too? I can see to my own safety. Princess Ophelia. How audaciously admirable. But uh She's so admirable, I swear she is. No princess left behind, says I, and no soldier, too. Guarding your highness is an order from our commanding officer. You can leave your protection to us. Nay, surely that would ill serve us all. Oh. It's over. You mean, he's dead? Hey, uh, you all right there? I'm still so inexperienced. But I can survive. Nay, I must. For my country, I will. Beepy! Your Highness, wait! Fifi, who's Fifi? Let's go. Stand, Stand back, Your Highness. Hey, uh, okay, I like it. I'm quite alright. I, I like it. I'm her now. In the name of Jutland! These knights are a little harder. You're no match. Run up and beat these two here. Terribly sorry. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ooh, 
cool is that? Oh, that was that was so adorable. And so easy, I like that. All right, buddy, it's me and you. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Watch her go. I, I guess I don't have this. Oh, I do. Look at that. Wonderful. That's a lot of blood, princess. I don't know. I don't know if you can handle that. Yeah, just as I thought. She can't handle it. Can you stand? Princess, can you stand? Uh, yes. So princess is pretty tough. And I hope I am uh, I hope I am playing with her from this game forward. The princess just won her first fight is all. You okay there, Fifi? You look even paler than usual. But of course, she's killed a man with her own two hands. Such is the way of war. Yes. However, if you intend to follow us further, you must grow inured to death. A friend as well as foe. You really need to learn how to read the mood. Still, what you're saying is correct. For once. Your Highness, it's wonderful that you volunteered for your country. But if I may be frank, your liability, no matter how compatible you are with Ragnite, that has no bearing on your qualifications to be a soldier in the field. At this rate, someone will die protecting you. <clears throat> I don't know how to feel about that one. I apologize for this disturbance. I am quite all right now. I'm fine. Please forgive my lapse in judgment. Rest assured, it will be my last. Fifi. Amlet. I defer to your authority. Please grant me leave to continue fulfilling my soldierly duties. You got this? Yes, sir. Then prove it. That work for the rest of you? We've taken care of most of their monotech, so let's finish this. Even my king father has never experienced the likes of this. And this is true. I am the princess. I am a soldier. Defender of the people, protector of the realm. Okay. I, I, I like the princess already. She's, she's amazing. Already, I like her. More enemies keep on keep on your toes. Never heard of that before. But uh should I should I stop it right, right. here? Uh, let me just walk through this right here. Once I kill these enemies here, I'm gonna stop it right here and uh probably yeah, I'm gonna stop it right here. And uh, yeah, uh, can panicking and surprising targets triggers emotions like fear and confusion. We just went through that. Fear and confusion have a stronger effect on the target and can also render them unable to act. Oh, what happened to the princess? I did it, Helena. Why do I want to? Why do I have to play with this guy and not the princess? It's a big sword, man. I should stay back and let him do that. Let them do all the work. To lose. <laughs> Just like that, guys. Just like that. Alright, let's get in here. Yeah, so it's out. Sorry. Another win. Over and I honestly, I honestly don't think that there there's any point of like crouching and hiding because it's getting so easy. You press one button to melee, 
it's not difficult at all it's really easy so so I, I, I just feel like I feel like this is gonna be a easy walk in the park okay this might be an issue yeah this 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 right here yeah the, uh, yeah this this right here is gonna be a problem I don't even know what the hell this is but this this is gonna be an issue I'm a little afraid. That's the enemy? What a nightmare. To think my unit's been routed by such paltry numbers. They don't even amount to a single platoon. Man. This looks like something out of a bad dream. I think such heavy mono weaponry exists. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Right. I'll take it on. Bring it! Amlet! Balthus. Target the tank and take it down. Ooh. This might be an issue. I after after me saying that this game will be a walk in the park. The anime Godzilla pops up. Uh, this might be an issue. Alright, so. Why don't they talk in this, bro? We we just heard them talk. But the next guy ain't gonna say alright, I bet. No? Right now. Alright. Here goes that damn word again. The battle uh Pauletti or Powlet? Battle Palette? The battle palette? Alright, whatever. Uh excess is Spell, secondary weapons, and any items equipped. Spells are cast using RP, uh, aragonite points, uh, and range from powerful attacks to healing support. Uh, secondary weapons do not use RP, but each gun or grenade. Yes, grenade only has a limited amount of ammunition. Unlike spells, secondary weapons, items were taken from the whole squad. So, I like that. Time stops while the battle is while the battle of pilot is open, so actions can safely to safely select and conquer. Okay. You know, I just forgot how to. Oh, ooh, what the hell? Shit, that's not good. Oh my god. Oh shit, stop. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not going to be a walk in the park anymore. If I can just remember, oh, wow. if I can remember how to open up the, the battle pallet, then I think that was it. I'm not sure about it. Hmm. If I can remember how to open that. If I can remember how to open that, we can probably walk through this better. Get out of here, guys. Dude, are you, are you serious? I gotta deal with her saying that a million times? Come on, now. Switch it up for Christ's sake. Let's let's go guys. Let us dance. 
That's not good, guys. <laughs> Destroy the tank apart. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt now. What's the tank? Uh, is the tank going on? What's the tank? Oh my. Oh boy, get back, guys. Keep an eye on Force me as well. All right, y'all take out this guy. I'm gonna take this out here. We gotta follow you guys. Come on. More reinforcements has arrived. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to cut off right here, guys. Uh, supposed to be a 25 minute video type deal. But we are finna hit 40 minutes, and I don't want it to be too long. But this is the uh, sick preview of this game. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know in the comments if I should continue this game and do a little playthrough of it or uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me know if I shouldn't. If I get no comments, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Uh, I'm no, I haven't missed mixed feelings about this game to be honest, guys. I don't know if I really want to play this game. It's 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 interesting. It's really interesting. And this thing is really fun. But maybe I should just wait until uh, it's a little later in the day to play it because it's like four in the morning right now, and I'm a little tired. So maybe I should just wait then. But uh, I don't I don't really know about this game, but. You guys can be the judge. Um, depending on the success of this video, if I get this a really great success, of course I'll play it. If not, if I really like this game uh, during the second round, of course I'm gonna record that and I'll play it as well. So uh, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, and please subscribe.